when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away. And made to watch these movies. To stay alive until the day they made us. Hello, prisoners! Welcome to season two finale of Slash Tracks! And maybe if you're lucky, you will get renewed. Wait, hold on one second. Wouldn't getting canceled be more ideal, more of an ideal situation for me and Josh? Because getting renewed would mean we'd have a whole nother season of watching shitty movies? Yeah, exactly why would we want to be renewed? Oh, prisoners, getting canceled from our show isn't the same as getting canceled on TV. Oh, I was canceled by Mother Eagle before, and I've never been the same since. Father, I, I mean Rodeo Clown Hush. You know the agreement. Oh, my bad, as you were. Wait a minute, what, what did you just say? Mother Evil, did I hear you say cancel the prisoners? I have the cancer loaded. No, honey, not yet. Let's see how they do with tonight's bad movie. Indeed, tonight on this tremendous occasion of Slash Tracks, season two finale, you will be sitting through the unfortunately titled Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings. This so-called sequel was written by idiots who more than likely only glanced at the original Pumpkinhead. Also, FX master Stan Winston and company were so enamored of the lead monster that they showed it constantly, thus killing any of the creepiness it presented in its appearance in the original. Instead, it looked tolerably cheesy. After this turd was nothing but sci-fi channel original and straight-to-video sequels for poor Pumpkinhead. This was his death now, and it will also mark U2's demise. Jigasm! <laughs> Wow. Okay, you know way too much about Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings. But you know what? At least it wasn't called Red Wings, <laughs> but uh, close enough. Now, exactly what is a canceller? What's it loaded with? And Master Evil, did you call the Rodeo Clown your father? Silence! Just do what Mother Evil says. She's the one running things, and she's crazy, like really crazy. She canceled my dad into a rodeo clown. What was that, son? What did you say? Oh! I said, do what we say, or we will cancel them and make them wish they were like the rodeo clown. Wait a minute. Hold on one second. No, you started talking normal all of a sudden. And said Mother Evil was crazy. Oh, did he? No, Ma. They're just trying to distract us from our decision. Damn it, Alex. Maybe you should be canceled. Now watch your movie! Hey, that's not a bad start. It's got an actual film studio uh, logo there, the MGM Lion. That's where the entire budget of the film went, was to getting a real production company for this film. 
Wow, the smudges on my TV when the screen went black that Master Evil gives me the TV looks like a, a skull face. I'm, what's that, Paragolia or something? It's freaking me out. I have no idea, but I've never <laughs> seen this logo before in my life. Motion Picture Corporation of America. Big, 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 oh my God, Productions Off Center on there. Did you see that? It was I did far see, to the right. <laughs> I did see that, but Motion Picture Association, whatever, Corporate. of America, sounds like the most generic company name ever, like on a TV show when they're like, oh, Johnny Bigwig is here from the television. Uh, Corporation of America. Yeah, Television Corporation Channel of the United States. Check hey. it out. Hey, Mr. Producer, blood is red, right? Can we just have a solid red background for most of the opening here? This looks like the starting of the TV movie It. Like when it, <laughs> it spells out It and blood. So we're watching the sequel to Jacko, right? It's a pumpkin-headed monster. Is that is that what's going on here? No, this is the this is the sequel to Punky Brewster. Oh, okay. So Lay Moon Fry is in it, man. It, it threw me off because Linnea Quigley's in it, you know, and it's called Pumpkinhead. You know, Jacko should have been called Pumpkinhead. Um, he literally had a pumpkin head. At this point in her career in the mid-90s, Linnea wouldn't do anything unless the monster was some sort of pumpkin-headed scarecrow. Right? That music is it, thing. It said music by Jack Manzi. Is that like a, a man pansy, you know? Like a manzy? You're such a manzy. You're such a manzy, you freaking manzy. Oh. <laughs> Jeff Burr, Bill Burr's little brother. He looks like he directed it. Might have been Bill Burr himself under a pseudonym. This movie is lit. Sorry, that's just like the cool lingo. I keep seeing that in our comments. <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Give me a shitty sequel on the double. Hey, it's the it's the it's the uh, Monster Hillbillies, the Beverly Monster Hillbillies. This seriously looks like it was filmed on a Super Eight. Is it black and white, or is that just me? No, this is black and white. So they're gonna go to Oz, and that's when the color starts. They had to make important budgetary decisions here, Josh, and they just could not film this scene in color. It has nothing to do with it being in the past. And they just couldn't afford it. An old friend of mine made this movie. Uh, he, he he. Whenever he was younger, he thought that everything was black and white back in the day. Oh yeah. So he he made this, and he did it in black and white because, of course, this was before the world had color. Yeah, I saw what that guy said on the Slash Tracks News uh, comment. He basically called you out, Josh, and said you're full of crap for that. That's the truth. It's a true story. And the guy thought that you had to get your prescriptions developed at like a pharmacy that they made the medicine there. Is this Pleasantville versus Victor Crawley? What is this? I don't know. We got Toby Maguire right there, a dollar store version. Yeah, so Paul it could Walker. Be. Paul Walker, Toby Maguire, Reese Witherspoon. Hey, and the the little the dude eating the food there kind of looks like uh, the deputy from. Uh, why can't I think of his name? He looks like a he looks like Don Knotts did in Pleasantville. What's with the most, like, what's with the recent Slash Tracks movies we've had to watch having, like, really odd, like, music choices? Right, and why is this old witch running in slow, is she running in slow motion, or is that just how fast she moves? I don't know, and how did they, how did they find this kid back in 1958 without GPS? And why is Jason Voorhees not being kept at the lake? You know, it's, it's Pamela's fault if he gets killed here. Dude, that kid is literally running as fast as he can with a switchblade. He deserves to fall on that thing. Tell me, tell me, McGuire's a dick. Is she not his mother? Is she his like identical twin? Is that why she feels the pain that he is experiencing at the moment? Yes, they're identical twins. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is going on here? I swear, it looks like it looks like a. Uh... Like a young version of Jason from Friday the 13th Part 2 when he gets his sack ripped off his head. Yeah, it might, it might be a leftover, like, you know, a suit or a mask or something from the production. Save some money I, everywhere you can, bud. 
I don't remember Pleasantville being this dark, brother. Are these guys... Okay, they're wearing Letterman's jackets with no, like, reference of... There's no letter on it. It's a Letterman's jacket with no letters, so we don't know what school... Or are they just a gang member? Is that they're, on the back there, the logo it, on the back? It's, they're, they're called the Red Wings. <laughs> no way. No way. The, they are called the Red Wings. The Pleasantville <laughs> Red Wings. So the Pleasantville doing it with their girlfriends when they're on their period. That's their gang. Okay, got it. They all had to earn their Red Wings, man. Think about that. Before they got their jackets, they had to earn their Red Wings. Well, what's the age limit to be in the Red Wings? These guys look like they're in their mid thirties. <laughs> those those evil nineteen fifties doo wop gangs, man. They just killed people. Dude, that guy is like channeling in living color Jim Carrey in all of his little one liners there. Oh, we're in Oz. So we have a narrator now. What is going on here? Oh, never mind. There's a conversation in the background. Hey, it's a sitcom couple. Hey, it's the freaking barber from Child's Play 3 and the dad in Hellraiser. They can hear us talking, Alex. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like two people are trying to rip us right now. Yeah, because we're in dungeons. He just said no gangs. He's all, the Red Wings are not within a country mile of us. We shut them down a long time ago. Yeah, we shut the Red Wings down, you hear? We started selling tampons and pads, and they just disappeared. He looks like he's in a little less, uh, like his like his physical, uh, he looks a little less in shape in this film as he was in the previous two men- uh, movies I mentioned. Right. He's been enjoying the spoils of success from Hell- Hellraiser and Child's Play 3 a little too much. Yeah, this was only five years after Hellraiser 2 and two years after Child's Play 3. His career he was... aged worse than a, a president that had two terms in the White House. Dude, his- oh no, not this guy. Return of the Living Dead 3 guy. It looks like Sting as a teenager. Sting the wrestler, for anybody confused. Oh, this movie was hip for 1993. Got a couple getting it on in the back seat. A guy smoking a doobie in broad daylight. dad's the new sheriff let's make sure she sees us having premarital sex and smoking drugs in this car so she can tattle on us yeah and be careful um she might have inherited the sense of uh hearing riffers yeah we're the red wings want know how we got her name Yeah, I saw the Michael Jackson video, actually. Wait, is that Punky? That's Punky Brewster in the back seat making out with the guy who hosts the true crime documentaries now, right? <laughs> I've seen oh. him hosting true crime documentaries on, uh, like, ID. I thought he was the guy that hosted Nickelodeon's Wild and Crazy Kids. My bad. That's not Omar Gooding. I'm giving Omar a hard time. Dude, Omar... Uh, after Baby Boy, like I haven't really seen him in anything in like twenty years. Not even a not even a grocery store behind the register. What, I haven't seen him anywhere. Uh, stock, you know, stacking boxes. And by the way, speaking of Wild and Crazy Kids, where the hell is Donnie Jeffcoat? Right. We still see Mike O'Malley sometimes, so we know he he's okay from the old Nickelodeon days. Yeah, he had that that TV show, that sitcom on like CBS, where he like uh, his name, like he had a backwards baseball hat on all the time. I can't remember what the name of it was, but he's he like a, a teacher resurg- or something. Yeah, he had a little resurgence there in the early two thousands. He was on the he was on the Good Place and uh, Glee. So it's it's nineteen ninety three, but everybody's required to dress like they're from the like the Dirt Bowl. 
<laughs> from when half the country is covered in you know dust. The dust bowl. The dust bowl. The, du- the dust bowl. Yeah. They're all living in Hoovervilles still down by the river. Is that guy the sheriff's talking to, is he a baseball scout from the 1930s? I mean, what the hell is he wearing? I'm coming here today to watch the baseball game. And in other news... (laughs) He's a scout for baseball in the 30s, or he's a member of the press in the 1950s. Dude, I think he's hitting on him right now. Yeah, I'm seeing a little bit, yeah, and he's kind of like, and he's sitting there thinking, did that guy just hit on me? He's like, my mustache does look pretty good today. I groomed it. And I think I'm hearing guys making fun of this again. (laughs) He's he's at the doctor right now getting checked out, and he's going to explain to her that he hears people riffing over (laughs) over and over again in his mind. I feel like you're not exactly who you say you are, Sheriff. I almost feel like you're Uncle Frank. He's like sitting there wondering, is this doctor hitting on me too? I know, this guy's having a good day. Everybody's hitting on him. Giving him the old bedroom voice. It's threesome time. <laughs> that guy right there, I guarantee he like works for craft services. He's not a real actor. I bet you they just needed someone to deliver a line, and he was just on set. I ain't got time for greetings, but let's sing a song. Yeah, I ain't got time for greetings, but I always got time to pick the banjo here. He, Dollar he must... store Woody Harrelson. <laughs> no, he doesn't have time for haircuts either, apparently. I think they're all hitting on me, actually, and there's a couple dudes making fun of me constantly in my head. You talking about my wife or my daughter? Both of them. (laughs) I'm letting you know my intentions on your wife and your daughter at the same time. You better keep an eye on them. I got a guitar. For some reason, I keep it at the hospital, actually. (laughs) Don't ask me why I keep it at the hospital, but that's where I store my. That's where the mayor stores his guitars at the local hospital. Well, it's a small. T- it's a small town. The doctor has to make money somehow. So she actually, when she doesn't have patients, she's she a works shop. On, No, she works on instruments. She was like re, restringing it for him. <laughs> no spoilers. I haven't seen season fifteen yet. Dude, these people are getting crossfaded like a mu- muff, man. Like, smoking weed, I mean, erections galore, red wings all over the place, drinking yeah. brewskis. They're about to be like 50 years ago on this very spot, a group of guys who had sex with their girlfriends on their period killed Jason Voorhees. Blood wings, red wings, what's up with this movie? Does, does, are they just that out of it, the people that wrote the script? You know, do they not know what red wings are? Damn it, you're under arrest for making out with my daughter. Now get this over here. This town gives you wings. I'm going to cuff you right now for making out with my daughter, damn it. Your daughter's an amazing kisser. Is this boy hitting on me? <laughs> Is this cop hitting on me? (laughs) I can see where your daughter got her good looks from. I mean, uh... Because I was not going to give you a ride home. You weren't that good of a kisser. You might want to go with your dad. Sorry. I guess he can hear me, too. So the guy in the trench coat over here in this group of five, like, why is he even hanging out with them? He's not going to be able to make out with it. He's just a voyeur in this group. He's like teenage, teenage dollar store Paul Rudd. Just watching everybody make out. Just get just turned on constantly because his attractive friends are constantly canoodling. Just walking around that group with a heart on at all times. <laughs> That's why he's got that trench coat on to hide it. 
You've only been in town for one day and you're giving up. You have no uh, dedication in life. You know that? No motivation. This guy's had a pretty full day, actually, for his first day in the town. She she has, too. She's already made out with the local uh, Red Wing leader right. and got a, got a crossfade from... May, well, she made out with him while he had weed in his mouth, right? Yeah. Heartbreaker. Is my daughter hitting on me? <laughs> I already told you I'd give up, Dad. Wait a minute. Does she not have her seatbelt on? How come the dad isn't writing her a ticket? <laughs> Immediately. He reminds me of the cop from Trolls who just takes random teenagers for drives for no reason. His daughter. <laughs> the other guy was trying to get a blowjob from the from the. Kid. Oh, God, the cameraman got knocked over, man. <laughs> he passed out. <laughs> He's on the ground. Oh, <laughs> no one like, was trying to check on him. Just keep going. I think he had a heart attack. It's okay. It'll work. <laughs> no, no, he's still, he's still on the ground. No, he corrected himself the other way. <laughs> he's got bad depth perception. Oh, he's back. He's back. Oh, Danny, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are falling. Does, uh... Does does Henry know that Punky Punky is back there smoking weed? Well, she's not a deputy, and she's still not wearing her seatbelt, so she's not a very good uh, daughter of a cop. Nobody's wearing their seatbelt, actually. What a surprise! The guy who killed his girlfriend on a motorbike in Return of the Living Dead 3 just killed somebody being an asshole in his car. This lady's like, God damn it, this is the third time this month. I, I thought he was going to back over. <laughs> I thought he was going to back over. <laughs> oh, my God. That I was the cameraman. He was filming the scene from earlier and got hit by the car. Man, this has a, I know what you did last summer vibe, huh? I was about to say, nobody say anything. We're going to keep this a secret. She she was getting up a second ago, though. Yeah, she's fine. Go with, she, assist her. While she back on the ground, she was standing up and walking away. Well, what else would have happened? She disintegrated when you hit her? You've only got, like, there's only two things that could have happened. She got killed or walked away. Her body's not there. Let's get one thing straight, Josh. Nobody walks away from this film unscathed, okay? All these people's careers took a major hit. Not just the lady who got hit by the car, okay? The soil of a man's heart is stonier. You don't want to hit that lady up that road there. <laughs> you don't want to go up there. They're crossing Pet Cemetery to get to the cabin in the woods. Yeah, that is the blood- evil dead cabin. Holy shit, that is the there's, cabin. There's blood wings up there. You don't want to go down that road. You don't want to go down on the blood wings. Earning your, earning your blood wings is not something that, to be proud of. That's a Freddy Krueger uh, scarecrow right there. It's got a freaking striped flannel, a little hat. Hey, there's a Necronomicon and a tape recorder in here. What do we do? Beaded windows, man. It's going to be a sex palace. Oh, they found Jason's cabin. They're going to see Pamela's head in a minute. Where are all the stuffed animals, Josh? And isn't his cabin underwater? Duh. Is it underwater? I thought in part two it was in the forest. My bad. Uh, in, in part, no, in part two it's in the forest, but in every other iteration, his cabin is like halfway in Crystal Lake, halfway out. Hell, and Jason versus Freddy in his dream is literally in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Punky better be careful lighting those candles, man, because I guarantee she has Aquanet in that hair. You don't want to go to that little pet cemetery either. Don't go down. Don't mess with that model. The soil of a model, Estonia. Oh, so we got Cabin in the Woods, Evil Dead, Pet Cemetery, and... uh, 
Blair Witch 2, Book of Shadows. We got it all there. And she just randomly knows what's in the Book of Shadows. How does she know what's in the... Yeah, how does she know what's in the Book of Shadows when she's busy getting high all day and making out? Oh, she found a Walter White's little thing of rice and... No, that was Lily of the Valley. That's that crushed up flower. Oh, no, no, no. But then he, he actually made, he keeps that rice and, and put it in the thing, but in the wall, the electrical socket thing. Well, yeah, yeah, because Punky was his methylamine uh, distributor. <laughs> yes, and that's she, Linda. Yeah, she screwed Lydia, him over. Lydia. <laughs> she screws him over, like, in season five towards the end, you know. Oh, I thought trench coat dude was like going to be cool and stuff. He's a little line, but he's a little manzy. Did you hear him? He's a little manzy. Okay, here's the person they hit. Oh my god, it's the mom from Six Feet Under. What's she doing here? Please do it before my makeup falls off. I can't even talk. It's sliding right now. She looks like uh. Mel Brooks uh, in Spaceballs. <laughs> or Billy Crystal in the Princess Bride. Exactly. Now we know why she's wandering in the road when she's blind. Listen, we're really sorry we hit you with our car and then proceeded to break into your house and light your candles and also be rude to you and not answer your questions. We're sorry. I thought you were blind, lady. Okay, I thought they were uh, going to have Pumpkinhead after him just for hitting her, not for, you know, she didn't even die. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He hit her with the mag light. Uh, he hit her with the car. I, like, I want her to stick that freaking hook up his ass now. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad, bad man. Hey, it's Ric Flair after his last match. No, he just went over. (laughs) (laughs) This is him trying to celebrate. It's only forty nine ninety nine a pay per view. Woo! I'm cursing you all for hitting me with your car and your mag flashlight, even though I'm fully alive. You just really, really piss me off. I'm the oldest living Karen. And I just called my manager. His name's Pumpkinhead. Dude, she's selling. She's selling the Maglite hit more than she sold getting hit by the car. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to rip the shit out of this movie, but that was a really cool shot when they put the camera on the uh, shovel. It's funny that we talked about Breaking Bad because at one point, Jesse's digging a hole to distract a meth, uh, meth head, and they put the camera on the shovel for that, too. That's a weird coincidence. Yeah, it also is a weird coincidence that this is a film that was made in the United States, and Breaking Bad was also made in the United States. <laughs> I'm just saying it's weird that I made a Breaking weird. Bad joke right before they did the same camera thing with the shovel as Breaking Bad did. That's all. Don't Do me a favor, and do everyone else watching this a favor, don't ever compare this film to Breaking Bad ever again, or I... I won't stand for it. Dude, I better, will have Breaking to put Bad a curse is the on best you. show ever made, and Better Call Saul is right up there with it. So I'm not putting it down. So what made them decide to dig up the the little boy? Is this oh. this is her little boy that was killed in the first scene? Yeah, he still looks the same. He hasn't <laughs> decayed or anything. Dude, they better not put a freaking uh, winter winter main or whatever. You know, Jason lives. That rod goes goes through him and the electricity hits. So an old lady who's like two, who's obviously like 150 years old, warns you not to do something, and you're that rebellious that you go out and do that. And this is worse than Ernest. She said that if a world like me were to bang this tree, boom, 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 like that. He doesn't know what he's doing, man. He's partying. Leave him alone. That, that was the Necronomicon. Did you see that? That was literally the Necronomicon. That guy 
is only in this movie to do stupid, weird stuff. But, like, he definitely is going to be victim number one, I bet. Still moist. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> Checking his vitals. He's, uh, there's no air, there's no, there's no pulse, no breath. Man, the makeup's lady. melting off her face as we speak. Dude, that lady is having the worst day ever. She got hit by the car. She got hit by the mag light. She's burning to death. She told them to leave her son alone. They're freaking resurrecting him as we speak. And they somehow dug like a perfect rectangle into the ground. Try to do that, somebody. I dare you. It's impossible. And she just had her last wrestling match of her pro wrestling career. So, and now her now there's a miniature cabin burning. Old witch asshole. <laughs> she has hey. she has a name. It's it's middle aged witch. Good Did Lord. you hear what he said? She probably already got out. That's pretty much what he said when he hit her, too. Oh, she walked off. She's fine. (laughs) So, what does this little boy have to do with, like, the first movie's Pumpkinhead incarnation? Oh, I can answer that. Both these films have the same, uh, their name Pumpkinhead. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure Master Evil's going to have us watch all four before it's over with. Season coming up in season 18. (laughs) If we get renewed, you know, we'll have to wait and see. 11. I sure don't want to get canceled and turn into a rodeo clown. Anyways, what do we got going on? So he was like living under the house or under the grave. I don't know, because they dug the hole out in the yard, and now he's being resurrected through the boards of the house. I told them not to go up there. What comes back isn't what you put in there. Is that deputy hitting on me? (laughs) Have you seen the mayor? I've got his guitar and his drums. Is this lady hitting on me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't focus on my crime scene investigation when everyone is hitting on me. Do you do you notice an issue with the dubbing of the lines? Like the lines don't match their mouth's movements? Yeah, they probably had a bad boom mic thing in post production. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty bad. You can definitely tell they like re recorded their lines. Not always, but sometimes I can see that, yeah. You're all going to stay stupid. Nobody get an education. That's one of the rules of being in the, in the Red Wings. Nobody gets wise. How much did marijuana cost in the mid-90s? Because they seem to have like, a copious amounts of it in every scene. The Red Wings, man. They get it for free. Yeah, they they grow it, dog. They work for the <laughs> Maxi Pad Cartel. Instead of the Mexican Cartel, Maxi Pad. Sorry, I thought that sounded funnier. Apologies. Oh, this gun? I picked it up at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting fixed by the doctor. <laughs> oh, if you head on over there to see the doctor again, can you pick up my toaster oven, please? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> and are you doing a really bad southern accent? A saint nope. it? Nobody told me about some Satanist witch when I accepted the position of sheriff in this town. This is something that I should have known about before I uh, decided to move here. So this guy was hunting in the middle of the night and saw everything that happened and never intervened in the whole thing. He didn't run into the house to save the lady from burning to death. He saw everything that happened but did not try to help her once. He couldn't, Josh. His gun was at the hospital getting oh. the... 
yeah, getting fixed by the doctor. Check it after a prison transport. Sheriff, they're selling a sheriff. Look, sheriff sell. Check all weapons at the end of each shift. Check them in with the doctor. <laughs> Clean off the evidence. Check. <laughs> oh, wait, I just laughed at my own joke. Damn it. All... <laughs> oh, I did that too. Yeah, the trolls are going to tear us a new asshole, dog. Hey there, sexy. I mean, hey there, boy. Somebody sure? told me they watched you hit somebody, go to their house, burn them alive, and then dig up a random grave. Is this sheriff about to hit on me? <laughs> this feels like the beginning of a Mentos commercial. Da 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 da. Or Red Shoe Diaries. Wait, wait, the old ladies in the hospital? Good God, she's resilient. I thought I thought the scarecrow was her a second ago. It looked like her corpse. They're like, yeah, lucky she's in the hospital, and the doctor wasn't restringing any guitars earlier, so she had time to tend to her wounds. Looks like she got cracked with a mag light, hit by a car, and set on fire last night. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> We have an eyewitness to every second of it somehow. Home all night studying. Is he hitting on me? Uh, studying what? This guy's like 38 years old. What's he studying? <laughs> I bet he is. A student, and I only own one outfit. So don't ask why I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday and the day before. He's a genius. Uh, most geniuses, like true one percenters, only wear the same clothes every day. So they have, don't have to think about their wardrobe. I got a pumpkin head two drinking game for everybody. Every time somebody takes off or puts on their glasses in this movie, take a drink. Seeing his daughter, he just met her yesterday. I can't kill another sheriff. I bought this one at that sheriff's cell they're advertising down at the sheriff's department. That's got to be stressful for that guy, man. He's scouting for the Dodgers and trying to take care of this idiot all the time. This is one resilient 180-year-old lady. <clears throat> Pumpkinhead saved her, by the way. Saving her, but he can't save this film. This guy's, ah, uh, that sheriff sure is hot. I think I'm going to come out and tell him how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> Try to keep him out feeling. I want to know what love is. I want him to show me. I seen it before. I seen love before. But I want him to show me. So I'm not familiar with, like, livestock and farms, really. Is it, is feeding your animals at, like, midnight, a normal thing? The guy hunts at midnight, so I guess so. He's a serial, serial superhero by day, farmer by night. He's Clark uh, Kent. So is Pumpkinhead coming, or are the frickin' Lost Boys coming? Is uh, he, or, or, he is, or is he going to Oz, you know? Boy, that little thing's getting after it. I bet it could do some damage. I know, he's just plowing away there on that saw, man. Hey, is this, uh, are we finally seeing a primal species? I think so, after all these episodes. Carnosaur versus pumpkin head, that would be great. Let's do it. So why is this, oh, I get it, he's getting killed because he watched everything happen and didn't help the lady. I went and told the police officer. Uh, I'm allergic to latex. Uh. And pumpkin head goes for the body slam. Whoa. Right in the bread basket. Uh-oh, the camera guy fell over again. 
wait a minute, why does she feel things? I thought she only felt things when her son felt things. He's not the one Oh, I get it. In Whoever pain. dies, like, possesses Pumpkinhead's spirit and comes back for vengeance. But uh, what did this guy do exactly? Not help? And he just re- went and gave his police report? That wasn't enough? He just did, like, the, the last episode of Seinfeld thing. Like, he witnessed it, but didn't help. So... They, he like he saw the crime, but he he didn't intervene, sort of deal. God is this, damn it! Is this, and now I'm never going to collect on fixing his uh, toaster. Is this is what? This, is this crime scene hitting on me? <laughs> American Horror Story season nine. Angela yeah. Bassett plays the doctor. Why is she okay? This is the doctor. I was gonna say, why is she pulling the 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 blanket off the off the victim? Like, I don't think she's allowed to do that, right? Yeah, and when, when, where's the coroner at? He should be here for this. Still wearing the same clothes. Oh, get ready to take a drink. Anybody doing the liquor drinking game? I bet he puts those glasses on. Oh, oh there you go. Oh. There's a drink. Which lab? The hospital or your, like, soldering lab where you fix computers and radios and stuff? Blood spatter. Thank you. Blood splatter. Dexter would be so pissed at that. Hand me my disposable camera, please. I need to take very important crimes and photos over here. Of blood splatter. You know, not spatter, splatter, apparently. Somebody earned their red wings over here. Pussy? Posse? Did, is he hitting on me? It's, okay, so this is a sheriff. Does he have a deputy? Or is he the only one that is on the police force in this town? They gotta wait for the deputy cell. There was only sheriff cell flyers at the at the place. So on his days off, they, this town just doesn't have any police? Not until the deputy cell. Oh, now the coroner's there. This guy's dead. He's got a. It, it was a, it was a pretty bad case of being ripped apart. The the cameraman is the only one who noticed the claws on the top of the beam there. Ernest. <laughs> is this sheriff the only guy that changed his clothes in this town? He's wearing the same clothes that Marty McFly wore when he woke up to go see Doc down at the Twin Pines Mall. <laughs> you know, I wonder if when Marty set the rug on fire whenever he was eight, if his yeah. mom and dad took it easy on him or not. I'm curious. I don't know, man. He was, he, the dad was probably too busy buying peanut brittle from the kids trying to sell it door to door to notice. If I, if I was the dad from Back to the Future, I'd be like, like the family guy thing. I'd be like, do you not think I remember... That our son, our 16-year-old son, looks just like that guy that showed up at our high school when we were 16? He's not my son, is he? You're seeing that guy. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. She, they just moved to this town, right? How yeah. was her How was her room already this decorated? And how'd they get a telephone company to set up their service so quickly in yeah, 1993? They're still using whoever lived there before his phone line. They are, that's illegal. He's the sheriff. He needs to arrest his daughter right now. Oh, they, the other sheriff got hurt, and whoever bought him at the sheriff's cell before didn't buy the extended warranty. Yeah. So they just moved the new, the new sheriff they bought into the house. I'm on my period. Well, that's even better. You, you know, I, need to, I still need to earn my jacket, right? If the doctor is at the sheriff's house right now, going over the spatter evidence, the splatter evidence, the splatter, who's running the pawn shop at the hospital? <laughs> Sorry, I had to wait for your daughter to be able to hear. Huh? 
I saw the first movie. Lance Henriksen was actually pretty good in it. So they all know about Pumpkinhead pretty much. Even the guy who just moved to town. Yeah, and... apparently, apparently in this town they 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 stu- the Book of Shadows one hundred and one is one of the classes. Yeah, they just know about it. Everybody knows about it. Yet they still do stupid crap. Oh, they're zooming in. This is a very important part of the movie here. The hero shot. Is Pumpkinhead Doctor Seuss? Closer. I need it tighter on his nostrils. Closer. Ow. Yeah, the camera hits him and <laughs> like like when Corey Feldman got hit with the flashback. <laughs> <laughs> the cameraman just keeps zooming in until it bumps onto his forehead. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, full moon. She's about to turn into pumpkin head. She's gonna turn into a pumpkin head. Sure sure yep. is. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, the, the house was repossessed. <laughs> we need a sex scene in the movie. Okay, just throw the bed out in the middle of the woods and go for it. Oh, good lord. Almost let him earn his, pump, his red wings. Pumpkin head gives you red wings. <laughs> Red pumpkin. It gives you blood wings. <laughs> <laughs> Quit laughing at our jokes. I got to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to do that. Two percent of the audience has spoken, Josh. Oh my God, was that dream hitting on me? <sighs> oh my God, is that moonlight hitting on me? I think pumpkin head is just like an analogy for a girl having her period, right? It looks, coming, like the, looks like the T-Rex legs from Carnosaur. That, no, it looks like Carnosaur, for sure. Like, that's why I was saying it. Is that is that Linnea Quigley? It's gotta be Linnea. So this scene was just there. Let's find the ugliest dude to have sex with Linnea Quigley. Well, we couldn't get Alex Van over, but we got the next best thing. Oh, you dirtbag. We tried to get Josh LaRue first. Is that better? I fixed it. Man, this guy is like living in like a shitty old shack, but he gets to nail Linnea, so life's not too bad. And don't worry. Wow, she she's magical. She did that with her panties on. They weren't even pulled to the side. It's like those movies where somebody goes down, it looks like they're either licking their belly button or chewing on their inner thigh. Let me take guy's- a sip of this chocolate syrup. <laughs> That guy is absolutely winded, and he was doing nothing. She was riding him, and he's exhausted from it. The director's like, did we get Linnea Quigley's tits in the film? Okay, you can kill her off now. Somebody cut her a check, please. She just, I know what it is. She She don't like being completely naked, so she has a hole cut in the bottom of her panties there. How did that dude get laid? Did he pay? He he paid for it, right? They're not like a couple, are they? They met at the pawn shop, and Linnea was. He was like, "Is Linnea hitting on me?" Oh, and she was, and she was, and he lives. He lives in one of those little mini storage buildings they sell in in lots. Is she getting off every time? Pumpkinhead's like that was my girlfriend, you motherfucker. Okay, the music in this scene is gonna is making me laugh so hard. Dude, he just got bitch slapped backhand by Pumpkinhead, man. Listen to this music. Hey, do you know what I think this is? Pumpkinhead is Linnea's pimp, and that guy was refusing to pay. Oh, so, I thought yeah. Pumpkinhead was hitting on him. No, Pumpkinhead had to come in and make sure this guy was gonna pay. Because that's the only way he slept with her, because she's obviously a prostitute, because that guy's disgusting. So why did he just break that dummy in half and then throw it outside and it turned into a real man? I don't understand. Damn it, Pumpkinhead, now we're never going to get paid. Hey, music guy, think you can make the music extremely loud where we can barely hear the screams? You got it, boss! That's some good shit. 
I better answer this phone that isn't actually my phone line. There's a couple guys riffing on you. You might have heard it. Damn. So like 10 hours later, he finally found it. There's no GPS. She's so pissed because she's losing all of her pawn shop money. Blood wings. You got that from looking at a, a bloody... I would have said a bloody V. And he apparently stole nothing but colored television sets from the mill. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> da- he's like, damn it! I need to unpack these twenty-inch color TV sets, and I'm too busy on a freaking crime scene. My first day in town. So, so this postman's been stealing the mail. So, has everybody in town been getting twenty-inch color televisions, and that's all? Or is it like this? Did he steal it from the same person over and over? They kept calling in saying they didn't receive it. He's like, shit. There's another one. No, but I think it's hitting on me. I think this key is hitting on me. Or it might be... Wait a minute. So Pumpkin, Pumpkinhead's like, obviously right behind her then, right? No, remember he's the pimp. He just had to he had to beat her up a little bit and show her, you know, he's still the boss even though he took up for her. Oh, you're right. So like it's just a keep her in line. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, he's just keep, uh-huh. he's keeping his bottom bitch in line. Um, how did the doctor happen to have something to sedate her like immediately? She didn't know she was going to have to sedate somebody at that moment. Well, she's a doctor, pawn shop owner, and serial killer. <laughs> what did she inject into her, though? Seriously, that was not... She didn't M99. have that M99. M99, just like Dexter. <laughs> Jeez. Ketamine. We Don't worry, we checked all of our guns after the shift. <laughs> oh, that, that one dude who keeps taking his glasses off and on is the judge. Yeah, you didn't get that? No, I'm sorry. Is that why he doesn't change clothes? It's a power move. That's his role. You'll you'll smell my stink. And nobody's taking their glasses off today and put them back on either. I kind of feel like the judge kind of just lets things uh, go in this town. Like, it, if he deems it, you know, not important, he just kind of, like, looks the other way. This is the same town that hires Ernest to be the garbage man in a few years. Hey, so the judge goes on trial. Uh, like, the sheriff, like, puts him on trial because he's like, you know, you're a dirty judge. And the judge is like, I didn't know there was a posse out there. I had my glasses off at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see a damn thing. So when you take a shower, he gets to break it his way. All right. Now, where's that bed in the middle of the forest when we need it? It was like he was, like, shaking her because she's being hysterical while he's making out with her. He had a hold of her shoulders. He's about to shake her and slap her. Does that chick have a five o'clock shadow on her upper lip? Well, I wish the cameraman would do his little zoom in trick on her face so we could check it out. You see what I'm talking about? So, yeah, a little bit, but it might be the dude's makeup that rubbed off on her face because he was like trying to merge smother with her. her. Yeah, he was like <laughs> smothering her. I think you're right. I think his makeup is all over her top lip. I think it is. He looks like Steve Borden he, as a teenager, I swear. Can I start shaking your shoulders again and trying to become one? Man, this is going to run? Wait, is that her dad? That's the dad yeah. showing up. He's the ultimate cock block, man. He's still trying to find that one address when he said, I'll find it. 
somebody called in a, a hit and run or something. You know how to get there? I'll find it. This is ridiculous, man. Back in the mid '90s, you know how hard it was to find anybody as a kid. Like, you, oh, like wait. you. I thought that was a cop car a second ago. Oh, so did I. I was going to say, but well, dude, back in the old days, if you wanted to find somebody, you'd go to their house, look to see if their bikes were outside. If they weren't, you'd go to the next house. If the bikes weren't there, you're screwed. <laughs> That was a horrible edit. He was putting his sunglasses in his pocket, and it cuts back, and both his hands are on the car. I swear that was a cop car pulling up at first. I wish I could rewind it, but I can't. I'm probably wrong. But So did his girlfriend just, like, walk home from the middle of nowhere? I thought she was getting out to meet her dad because it was a cop car, but it was just these guys. So she's just walking in the woods right now while there's murders going on around all over the place. She's got plot armor. I think everybody in this town's hitting on everybody. <laughs> Not only do I think everyone's being hit on, I also think there's two people riffing on this on this moment right now, and I also think that the doctor isn't just a doctor. What if we took our glasses off twenty times a day and put them back on? Man, her career, like, really took a bad turn. Like, she was, like, starred in her own show in the in the 80s, man. She was doing Nancy Reagan Say No to Drug commercials. Uh, she had a cartoon. Like, everybody was wearing different colored Converse, Chuck Taylors, because of her. And then, like, later on, she was, like, barely guest spotting on Saved by the Bell and then doing Pumpkinhead 2. Like, what <laughs> the hell happened? Like, who did she piss off in Hollywood? She's like the Katherine Heigl of the mid-90s, man. Did he bring his safety deposit, bo- safety deposit box home with him? I'm pretty sure the bank makes you leave those there. <laughs> I think they do, too, and I think the wife thinks that newspaper article is hitting on her. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Well, hey, he's still my dad. All right, say you're the judge of this town, right? You're the judge. You just hired this sheriff, okay? This is the first case he's tackling in your town. He's not He's not roping off the crime scene. He's not doing forensic work. His big hunch, this sheriff, you just hired personally and brought into your town, his big hunch is that a demon pumpkin-headed scarecrow was resurrected from the dead and is now killing townsfolk. That's the guy you brought in. This is his first hunch. And yeah. he's hearing us, you know, so he's a little bit, he's a little bit crazy. Oh, be- he's a little busy though, man, because um, he's got to return all those TVs to the one person that kept getting them stole from their mail. Yeah, because uh, can you imagine the shipping cost for getting a 20 inch color TV <laughs> delivered to your house in the mail back then? Lord. Nobody noticed like a hundred of them being stolen in town. Uh, this is another postman. <laughs> it's because the Foot Clan was stealing them, like in Ninja Turtles. So he he knew the little boy back in the day. Okay. Oh, Man. it's black and white again. My buddy directed the black and white parts because that's how things were back then. So is that the sheriff right there? As a boy? No, it looks like that one. That one. Yeah, that's him as a boy. The actor looks like the boy from it, the TV show, the TV version of it. The actor that, the kid actor that died. He was in that underwater show or whatever. I can't think of his name. But yeah, that's supposed to be the sheriff, yeah. Jonathan Brandis is the name you're looking for. Yeah. Um, listen, it would have been easier. I thought he was hitting on me at the time. It would have been easier for us to recognize him as the sheriff as a little kid if they would have put a mustache on him as a child. And this is 1993. Oh my god, that 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 postman was uh, retired, so he stole those TVs 
a long time ago and hadn't opened any of them or sold them? What the hell is he selling them for? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, he was one the of the gang. The doctor has, like, a microscope in the examination room? Like, yes. she's a scientist? She's, she's the jack of a uh, Jill of all trades. What in the hell is going on in this town? You're telling us. She's like, I think you have an STD. Let me grab your balls real quick and put them on this slide. <laughs> I need to examine them closer. I don't have time for another flashback, okay? There's some bad dubbing. You're right. Oh, more here people with glasses. Here comes the freaking Memphis Mafia again. Elvis's guys. So, is it like a Mafia guy with the mayor? No, these are Elvis Presley's handlers. This is the Memphis Mafia, man. This is what they do now that the king is dead. Just bother the sheriff and the doctor pawn store owner. Well, that one guy is wearing the mayor's sunglasses from earlier. They're sharing the same problem. Yes. <laughs> he looks like if David Cross and, uh, oh my God, uh, Woody Harrelson had a kid together, the mayor there. <laughs> the middle guy, dude, the middle guy looks like George Jones. <laughs> he is. The country you know, music. It's the food service guy from earlier. I don't need no pumpkin head. All that happens is people wind up dead. <laughs> do you think that guy right there with the mullet, this guy yelling at the sheriff, do you think they did all his scenes in, like, one day? Because he's wearing the same clothes again, and it's supposed yes. to be days later. And the clothes don't fit. I think that they had a different actor in mind, but, like, that they had to change it at the last second. Yeah, they're, like, they, they're like, we're going to hire this guy because he'll work for free. The other guy wanted to be paid. Well, the other guy was like a foot taller. Uh, It's okay. I know we already sized the suit. Just put it on him. All right. The dude here who's dating Punky, uh, he's wearing cargo shorts, like a mid-90s flannel with cut-off sleeves and freaking like untied cowboy boots or like boots, like uh, motorcycle boots. I don't know. My nickname as a child was Punky, by the way. Are you hitting on me? It really was. I just told everybody something embarrassing. Let's go talk to that New England dude we talked to. Remember the guy that said, don't go up there? Maybe he knows what we should do. Cameraman's hiding behind the (laughs) the headstone over there. Did they, just make a se- Did they just make a sexual reference about a dead uh, piece of poultry? Yes. Hey, this carnosaur, man. The chickens are back. Absolutely. Is this Now, is this the gang that had the guns that were working for the judge? I'm confused. Yeah, it, yeah it's, the, it's all the original members of the Red Wings. That's why that postman died. He was one of the members. And there, ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Kane Hodder. Holy shit. Is that Kane Hodder? Yeah, absolutely. He probably played Pumpkinhead, too, honestly. I bet you he did. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't play a young Victor Crawley. Uh... Hey, he's also he's wearing the costume from the lesser-known Nintendo game, the Super Knox Brothers. <laughs> Super Knox Brothers. The Knox Bros on the back of the shirt. You have sex with her. Oh my god, I was joking. So they're inbred. I think my brother's red wings. I think think my brother's hitting on me. He said, You got room to talk. I said, You had sex with her. And then he said, I'm not the one sleeping with her. I was like, Oh, what the hell? I predicted the future. I, pred- I-, I predicted the future again, man.
Pumpkinhead does not like incest, okay? They should not have admitted to that. So that guy ran up there just to scream and get killed? Like, <laughs> you, I want to be the first one! Ah! Pumpkinhead's move. I've got nothing to say about the chickens killing the guy. <laughs> Pumpkinhead's move set literally is just the bitch slap in the backhand. That guy was literally getting pecked to death by the chickens. Holy cow! Man, Pumpkinhead versus Jason. Oh wait, Pumpkinhead. <clears throat> That's a paradox because Pumpkinhead technically right now is the kid we said looked like Jason as a kid. Yes. <clears throat> He's going to do her. Oh, no, he let her go. Or maybe she's in a comatose state from what he did to her. And she's on her period. Looks like somebody really went to town down there. I think we've got a new member of the Red Wings. She's she, she didn't actually see Pumpkinhead. She's just severely traumatized from her brother's uh, sexual advances constantly. And it's not real gold. I checked it in my pawn shop. I think they all went down on or had sex with their girlfriends while they were on their period in the 50s. Before it has a chance to hit on me. Oh, there's there's actual literature on it with, with uh, photos that have been illustrated on Pumpkinhead. Hmm. Multiple, multiple books of it. It's a whole section of the library. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you help me with the card catalog? I'm not very good with this. Uh, I'm looking for as many books on Pumpkinhead uh, as possible. Oh, Sheriff, you're not going to listen to that tape later. You're not going to sit around and be like, "What was I? What was I saying earlier?" Let me. See. I think she's been smoking marijuana. Why his eyes lit up like uh, the like uh, Morticia Adams? <laughs> Does she just run into people's houses? Did she? She just committed B and E, man. Oh, okay. So that makes it supposedly just because the doctor in town doesn't buy it. <laughs> Because I don't think so, okay? I rent it. <laughs> the cameraman Why the fuck is, is she not the sheriff? Uh, yeah, she's obviously the one doing all the legwork, and the cameraman is just, like, slinking behind the trees here, just falling, like, total creeper right now. I solved the problem. I figured out what's going on with the camera angles and the crookedness and all that. He's got narcolepsy, the cameraman. During filming a lot of scenes, he just passes out. He just blacks out. He might not actually have narcolepsy. He might just be blacking out from boredom of working on this film set. She's not actually dead. It's just a malfunctioning heart monitor that we got from your pawn shop. Did you hear somebody click the stop button on the tape player that was playing the, the noise for him? Should we do it? Uh, okay, they're definitely hitting on each other, right? <laughs> why Why is she hugging him like she's dating him or married to him? It's not like a comfort thing. It's more like a like they've been seeing each other for a while. That music it, sounds like you're about to fight the boss in Final Fantasy or something. <laughs> can't keep a good witch down, Josh. I got 99 problems, but a witch ain't one. Is, the director. 
is is he the one that's making fun of me constantly in my head? Is okay, is she supposed to be a female because it sounds like a male's voice? Yeah, it looks like a that you know, I'm going to make another breaking bad reference. The guy from Saw what was his name? The the first killer? I can't think of it off the top of my head. Tu- Tuco? No, on Saw, the the guy that was killing, uh, he 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 called up the lawn, the vacuum guy and got a new life as this witch. It look kind of looks like the original Saw killer in drag. Hmm. The old man in Saw that was killing people had cancer. Can't remember his name. I, you know, I've only watched Saul through once, so I'm going to disappoint the entire Slash Hollow Nation. I don't know. <laughs> and now Master Evil's going to make us watch one of the worst Saw movies. Thanks a lot. Them boys oh, going down on their girlfriends on their periods. Are, are you talking about the, Jigs- the Jigsaw Killer? Yes, the Jigsaw Killer. It looks like him in drag. <laughs> I said he went to the vacuum shop now and got a new life. Okay, you were confusing me because I thought you were referring to Better Call Saul. No, the killer on Breaking on a Saul went yeah. to the vacuum guy from Breaking Bad, the one that gives you a new life. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the Jigsaw killer went and got a new life as an old witch. But he that's just why, can't. That's why it sounds like that. <laughs> all of a sudden, the sheriff gets his dick stuck in a freaking bear trap. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Make your choice. Live or die. <laughs> Wait, that was just a Tootsie Pop that I decorated for Halloween. Take this. Okay, so what is Pumpkinhead doing when he's not out murdering? Like, is he just roaming around the woods? He's got bitches he's, got, he's putting out, remember? Oh, yeah. Um, we need Pimpkin, to, like, it's, it's Pumpkinhead. Pimpkin head. We need to update his wardrobe, man. It needs to be more, you know, we need to know who and what he's all about. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pumpkin head and the Technicolor dream coat. <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin Christ, rock star or whatever, superstar. Everybody in the town is like, you know, I think Pumpkinhead exists. It's like, oh, yeah, well, who else would be screaming like an ancient demon at, you know, all hours of the night? They're going through the yearbooks looking for plot points. Right. We don't even know what's going on in this film right now. we got to find something. I did not know. I, I I remembered Blood Wings, and I thought that was like such a funny title. I forgot they said Red Wings so many times in this movie. Merle Dixon? Merle Dixon from Walking Dead? Wait a he minute. He was part of this? Merle Dixon is the judge's name, so we're supposed to have been so invested in this film when we're watching that we know the judge's name. Right. So when they reveal it, I'm like, oh. He does not look the same as he did in The Walking Dead playing Daryl's older brother, Merle. <clears throat> I, ho- I hope Pumpkinhead does kill the judge. You want to know why? Because he because... won't change his goddamn clothes. Because he won't change his clothes, man. What did those britches ever do to him? He's just committing first-degree assault on those britches and those yeah. underwear. That's not a wedgie right there. The pants and underwear have, like, melted with his skin at this point. The doctor is going to have to surgically remove those clothes from his freaking body after Pumpkinhead destroys him later on. I mean, seriously. He's been wearing the same shit the entire film. Hey, Alex, uh, you're the producer on the film. Do you think it makes sense? Do, do, do normal people go out on their front porch with the light on but still carry a flashlight? Is that absolutely. something we can do in the movie? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, because, okay, we're going to throw that shit in there. Yeah, because later on, he's going to hit somebody with that flashlight, so he needs to have it in his hand. Oh, you know what? They He, he earned his Red Wings jacket, so you know she's on her, on her menstrual period right now. It'd be funny if the jackets were in black, 
why does everybody go to the same same cabin to fuck? Are you hitting on me? There's 18 minutes left in this film, and I think there's been like one death of a main character, which I think was Pumpkinhead, and then the broke down Super Mario Brothers, the Knox, the Super Knox Brothers, the Super Knox Brothers. There's been like oh, three and, deaths and the, in this. The film. retired postman that stole TVs, retired, and still never sold or opened any of the TVs. Yeah. Oh, and the guy who showed up to the Knox Brothers farm to scream and then be murdered. Get in the front of the line. <laughs> You hit her with the flashlight. Oh, the dad's got the flashlight. He's keeping the murder weapon in plain sight. Smart. You hit her with the car. You hit her with the flashlight. You set her on fire. You just hit your friend who had no lines in the film. Until now. Now he can't talk anymore. He's... he's Did he just shit a gun? I don't know, but why is he wearing a Where's Waldo shirt? I found him. That gun was not checked after your shift. Put it down. Good God, Sean, hurry. We got to record more of these lines post, post, and post, you know, for the driving scenes. Pumpkinhead is showing up because no one else is allowed to kill anybody in the town but him. <laughs> I'm David... I'm David Pumpkinhead. <laughs> I'm going to scare the hell out of you. Man, just the thought of changing his clothes tomorrow into something else is stressing him out. He's led him to the bottle. He took his glasses off again. Everybody take a drink. It's a pretty big word for this town. I don't know if they're going to know what you're talking about. Every time it has a camera angle like that where Pumpkinhead is coming, it's just like Carnosaur. It is almost identical. <laughs> He's like, hold on a second. I think I hear somebody riffing on me. <laughs> I think there's yeah. Yeah. It's either Josh Allen's riffing on me or it's a primal species. So Pumpkinhead went in there and painted the walls that that is fast. It either Pumpkinhead did that or Batman <laughs> showed up. <laughs> He knows how to make an entrance. I'm allergic to latex as well. Let me get my glasses. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So Pumpkinhead painted the walls and stuff, so he obviously knows how to use the door properly. Right. He just knocked he, that door down for effect. He painted the walls, left, and came back. Yeah, and then exploded through the door. Oh, any dad pumpkin heads a dead by daylight so badly. I would love it. Is he going to do him? Is he hitting on me? Wait, is he going down? I thought he's going down on him. Okay, the cameraman's really fucking up now. He's drunk. Okay, I know the kid was disfigured, but now you're just picking on him. Wait a minute. Are they both having this flashback at the same time? Is this a shared flashback? <laughs> or is that Pumpkinhead thinking that? Or is it the I don't guy? know who's thinking that. I think he yeah, was recognizing who... Pumpkinhead. Oh, he just ruined all of his wings he painted on the wall. I thought what I heard a couple guys talking. That's what yeah. I mean. What is that out there? Oh, instead of pointing the gun at what's out there, I'll point it at my friends. Yeah, he's like, what do you mean? All you can do is blow his nose off with that angle, but okay. There that you wasn't go, even, now you got it better. <laughs> dude, that wasn't even a gun on the guy's head. That was actually the camera lens. <laughs> Why does he have his mouth open? Like, like this has definitely happened before. 
Like, he's as like, soon as that he's guy like last gun- time a gun was to my head, I had to suck a dick. So Yeah, exactly. As, well, last time this guy put the gun to my head, I had to blow him. You better blow my balls off or I'm going to blow your brains out. <laughs> if you don't give me head, I'm going to take your head away. He's running away. Stupid pumpkin, stupid gun. Wait, he said go around back and get the car. That's the front door. They've literally pulled up to that front door like six times in this movie. Pumpkin head fucked with the car. I love it. I don't know how he did it with those giant fingers. I mean, I can barely mess with most screws with my little sausage fingers. Oh, he got eaten by a velociraptor. Yeah, put this guy out of his misery, man. He's had like eight lines. He's had a gun to his head. He's had to suck some dick earlier. And now, dollar store Jason Priestley is about to like kill everybody. Y'all guys hear a couple guys talking about us? That guy knows. That guy definitely knows how to make an entrance. He still got him at gunpoint while the. I running. know. I know. <laughs> I better not try anything funny. Are they running towards Pumpkinhead? This is very confusing. I don't see a house by Pumpkinhead. The production wasn't able to pay him their full paychecks by this point, and they're running away from the cameraman. To, they're not going to continue their, you know contractual obligation at this point because they're no longer being paid. They're at running least, away. At least if we have to rip Pumpkinhead 3 and 4 at some point, they're only like an hour and 15 minutes long, so it's going to be know, a little mo- better. Dude, this movie's like as long as a Godfather, man. At least it feels that way. Still not the worst one we've ever had to sit through. This is an hour and a half. That's like four or five episodes of DuckTales at this point. Not bad, not a bad suit. He can actually grip something in it. That's crazy. I did not see that coming. What? Oh, I thought, I thought that was the main chick. Never mind. That that was Punky Brewster. He hated the show. You're lucky I didn't kill you first. This is 1993. And there's a dead kid in my trunk. I mean, uh, let's go find let's go find your daughter. And we have a hundred twenty inch color TVs that we still have to process. Read, read for evidence. <laughs> yeah, and mail out. Okay, Pumpkinhead is just being a pervert now at this point. Posing the dead bodies. Does he still have her at gun is he still holding her at gunpoint? <laughs> Why Why does it look like Pumpkinhead is high? And that's like the party scene camera move right there. Okay, that's definitely the front of the house. And earlier the guy said go around back and get the car. I seriously doubt everybody that's visited that house pulled to the back of the house. They are just running in a circle. I, I saw her like turn left. Like in a circle. That he still got the gun on her. He didn't get it checked after his shift, so... Yeah, pull pull it back. There's probably more bullets. Two more bullets would have killed him. I just know it. I will eat your soul. Is it is is fucking head hitting on me? Hey, he got he got a little head. So, like after a decapitation, the human head it's been proven like is still able to think and, like, see for, like, another, like, 20 seconds. How the hell did they prove that? Did they have a conversation with the decapitated head? There was a guy. So, how does it feel? <laughs> no, there was a guy who got decapitated, and scientists were, because he was on death row, and they're like, when you get your head chopped off, we're going to ask you questions, and you'll blink if you understand us. And he blinked and recognized things. 
for death row they decapitated him? This is this is this is a fact. Don't make okay. fun of me. This is true. All right. Well, let's 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 riff the end of this movie, and we'll talk later. <laughs> yeah. Hey, finish riffing the movie before you riff me. What a lollipop decorated for Halloween. Tootsie Pop. Your soul can rest until the sequel. Hey, Lance Henriksen comes back as a ghost in the next one. Pumpkinhead's like, I speak Spanish, asshole. <laughs> okay? All right. All right. You said please. I'll listen to Dollar Store Tom Skerritt. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you. I'll see you later, okay? You have a good day there, Sheriff. The judge's mob. <laughs> she just randomly knew that that was the judge's mob. They must work for him on a, like an hourly basis or something. <laughs> the judge's mob shows up it's when the judge's really mob. hits the fan. Okay, so now we're supposed to feel sorry for Pumpkinhead? Is that, is yeah, that what's even happening though he's, here? Even though he's been just ravagely murdering people throughout the entire film. I mean, that one guy was a dick for stealing all the TVs, but he, he killed the dude right after getting laid. That's messed up. <laughs> they just hung the suit up. Bullets. Got some strings to the arms. <laughs> Pumpkinhead's only weakness. Bullets and bad camera angles. Okay, that's just depressing. Now I want Pumpkinhead to kill these guys. Damn it, Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings, you made me care. God damn you. And no, I'm right, not we got you. that son of a bitch. Oh, he farted into a candle when he landed. All those bodily gases coming out. Now he freaking had some Doritos 3D in between film and scenes. How did a fire start? Like, what what caused the fire exactly? <laughs> the evil spirit coming out of his anus. Oh, crime scene. Are they going to go on trial for killing a monster? Like, <laughs> He's the only person that would be able to investigate the crime scene, and he just tapes it off. He's like, oh, let's go get lunch. The jurors are going to have to be, you know, like the leprechaun, uh, puppet masters. <laughs> he has more of a romantic, species. like, relationship with his daughter than his wife. His wife, her only job on this movie was to look concerned and disgruntled at the dinner table. And disagree with him. Yeah, just be a pain in the ass the entire film. He's closer with the doctor than his wife. Yeah, they even snuggled. He looks like Victor Crowley, I swear. That's what I, I said. Came, Absolutely. Came, yeah. Is anybody going to eat that Tootsie Pop? You, you did, you've seen people do that, right? Like turn a Tootsie Pop into a ghost or a mummy? Yeah, but Tootsie Pops weren't my jam when I was a kid, man. Like, with Halloween, Tootsies were the last can candy that I'd eat. I'd eat all the good shit first. Tootsies were last resort. I cannot believe that Pumpkinhead got killed... And by a bunch of by by the judge's mob. That that's who took him out. The judge's mob. Keith Knox, Kane Hodder. There you go. Oh, Will Huston. Oh my God, Monte R. Perlin was in this movie. I have no idea who that is. Blow Peter John Davis was the stuff. Peter Lupus the third dude. Line producer Michael Mandeville. Ivan and Constantine Chakarona, uh, Churro. Cacanarnia, whatever it says. 
The Lion, the Witch, and the what the fuck? The Lion, the Witch, and the shitter of a movie. The music in this movie was just as confusing as wax work. Yeah, There's like a someone, love song playing during that sex scene death part. Someone was definitely not doing their job. Two people got to grip a dolly. Dude, one gaffer on set. One. Hey, the swing that you saw on the porch was played by Raymond, Rico, and Susan. The main bad kid, like the from... Return of the Living Dead 3. He he makes it through the entire film only to have his head ripped off. Apprentice editor? That's why the can that's why the cuts and stuff are so bad. They they put an apprentice on editing. He's like, I barely know what I'm doing here, guys. Edit the goddamn movie, Alex. <laughs> Get off my ass. Oh, the best boy gripper is Kenoy Williams and Alex. They think they grip boys the best. Nice, man. Hey, no, I'll call bullshit. There was already a list of drivers. Why are they showing them again? Four drivers, man, on set. Six. Ultimate effects. That sounds like the Hollywood Movie Corporation of America. <laughs> exactly. It sounds like we are a crappy effects company, but we're going to give ourselves the greatest name possible. Ultimate hey, the, best effects. The re-recording mixers up there, you were right, they had to re-record everybody's lines. I spotted that out in like the first minute and a half of this film. Accounting services. Yeah, nobody nobody is accountable for this movie, apparently. Not Batman, not Bruce Wayne, but Bruce Vane. Special thanks to Alex and Josh for tearing this movie apart. Special insurance. <laughs> hey, special thanks to Slash Tracks for trying to make this movie relevant again. Oh, man, we got to go find out if we're renewed for a season three here in a second. I'm scared, man. Sure hope not. Sure hope not. Well, no, man, I kind of hope we do because they straight up said if we get canceled, we get turned into a damn rodeo clown. Oh, my God, security services. I don't think too many people were trying to get involved in, in the set here. <laughs> Coca-Cola was in charge of product placement in this film. I cannot believe Coke wanted to be attached to this. Oh, slide guitar. That's the one that was in Pond. Musical yeah. equipment by the Doctor's Pawn Shop. A musical equipment by Korg. Apparently, Star, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation... <laughs> One of the freaking uh, Borgs was in charge. Go away, you awful movie. You might be the one. Wait, nope, you suck. Free fall. The right way. Not, not, not this movie. Just like you. Nothing like the original. The events and characters depicted in this major motion picture are all shitters. One more time. Here's the nasty title. All right, man, we got to get back one way or the other. Oh, my God. Are you ready? As I'll ever be. All right. Motion Picture Corporation of America. May God have mercy on your soul. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's go back. I award you no points. I was really hoping we finally broke you. Would have been fun to keep torturing you more and more. But you still seem fine, so Mother Evil has made her decision. Yes, I have made my decision about season three. Wait, no. You broke us. Oh, kill me. Please, what is life with this torment and pain? You you just can't imagine how much pain you've caused us. These movies are so bad. I I can't do this anymore. No. Yeah, exactly what he said. Oh, God, I'm so broken, so broken right now. I just can't imagine going on. 
Shit, who am I kidding? You know what? If we're going to get canceled, we're going to go out like men, and we're going to go out swinging. Do your worst, shit heap. Mom, do I get to cancel them? Yes. I think it's time for Slash Tracks with Alex and Josh to be canceled. Wait, 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 wait. Before you cancel the show, let me say... Some trails are happy ones. Others are blue. So wait, why that trail that counts? So here's a happy one for you. Happy trails to you. Until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Bye, Slashaholics. Smiling until then. Bye, Mr. Flivel. Who cares about the cards if we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you. Till we meet again. Damn, that beautiful, beautiful voice. Now I know why Alex has kept you around so long. I can't do it. Slash Tracks is officially renewed for Season 3. Your first bad movie of Season 3 will be Scream 3. <gasps> you may have escaped cancellation, but not torment. Oh, hi! I can't believe I'm saying this, especially since we have to watch Scream 3. <laughs> but... Thank you, Rodeo Clown. Thank you. Yeah, I concur. Thank you, Rodeo Clown. You blessed Rodeo Clown angel of doom. You're the best roommate. A tortured, starving, dying prisoner son of a bitch like myself could ever ask for. Screw this. Someone's getting canceled. See you later, brother. <laughs> what did you do? Wait a minute. Is he dead? <laughs> no, you can't cancel me. I'm indestructible. Ha! <laughs> we are going to be best friends. I'm going to sing and dance and move in with my sister, Sister Evil. Me and her can have slumber parties and play Monopoly and Twister and... <laughs> Change her mind. Master Evil is renewed too. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Sister Evil. Oh, brother's threatening me. Son, what did I say about threatening your sister? Oh, never threaten, just stab her in the back when she least expects it. That's right. Now start your punishment. You will write... Hey, 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 hey. This all sounds like a y'all problem. Alex and I got renewed, so we're going to just stick with that and just go, you know, torture, torment, pain, starving, and uh, we'll see you when you torture us with that shitty Scream 3. Uh, going to go back to our dungeons while y'all work this evil family shit out. Yeah, I'm going to have to concur with uh, Josh 100% on this one. I think our part's done here. We're wrapping everything up. Uh, you should definitely keep fighting, though. Uh, keep punishing your kids and all that. It's, it's a real treat for us to be involved in that whole process. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to jet. We got a lot of torture and pain to get back to, so our schedule's pretty full. Huh? And I'll be, order and I'll be hanging out with Alex and ordering some Taco Bell and KFC from the same restaurant. And AMW, I guess. Uh, yeah, Rodeo Clown. Bring those golden pipes of yours and that freaking uh, clown ass of yours and hop in the barrel right behind me and let's, let's do this. Let's call it a night. Come on, bud. You haven't been dismissed. Don't cut the feed. Don't you dare cut to Miguel. Josh, what up, Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'll bust him in the damn head. Hey, Alex, what's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, Oh, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and 
and check out these patterns and these hot I'm in most of them, I said. Uh, there's one, and there's one.